Can you come and see me? Oi, dog! I have oi. Look at all this. Surely there is something that you would like to trade. Quawalemsek. Ato oi. Oi, Lord, to speak. Here they are. Let's try not to be detected. Why don't the creatures attack them? I don't know. Are they guarding this place? If they're trained to guard it, this must be a very important place. Hear something. We found them. Let's be as discreet as possible.
They are below. Get down or we'll be seen. Forgive us. We did not intend to interrupt you. Approach the night. Why are you here? We're sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt your conversation. We need answers, so we followed your elders. Ah, well, since you absolutely want to learn, do as the apprentices do. Take a seat. And be quiet. We are here to meditate, to hear the voice of the earth. Because the wind has changed. Close to us, Arwichnis Diri. You were right. Yoan is ready. Morion's troil has made her more sensitive. She is his Minundanem, and he is hers. One cannot progress without the other. She will have to bring him to the Cave of Knowledge. This will be his last trial before creating the bond. May their path be gentle and shielded. As for me, I hear the call ever louder, Dunkas. And the day the call is loud enough, you will respond just like each of us. But it's not yet time for you to join Enon Milfrichten. So, Afra, are you satisfied with what you saw? It was informative, although it's not what I expected. Thank you, Dunkus. This meeting was strange. It almost seemed like they really heard voices in the wind. Maybe it's true. Some believe so strongly that they end up hearing or seeing what they hope for. Have you learned what you wanted to? What they said about these young people we helped out, about the fact they were ready to bind themselves. We have a unique opportunity of seeing a transformation with our very own eyes. But we can't follow them wherever they go. No, of course not. I must think on it. Come back and talk to me later.
Can you come and see me? Sade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? What did you think about that moment next to the campfire with the elders of Vigigador? It was strange, and a bit frustrating, to be honest. What about you? How did you feel? Had those old sages not been there? You and I next to the fire. It could have been a romantic moment. Oh, you are really strange, Dasade. Thinking about such things at a time like this. Anything else? Did you have any fellow students? Of course. We were but a small group working with Dr. Vasily, but we were encouraged not to get too close to each other. It was more of a competition. Why? What's on your mind? Did you not share your knowledge with the others? Not really. And to be honest, I don't even know if they would have listened to me back then. You would not believe how much competition there is in the universities of Al-Sad. I think it's a pity. It seems to me that ideas progress faster when they're shared. That is true, but I did not know it back then. I only discovered it thanks to you. Anything else? Where do you come from, Afra? From Alima, near Al-Sad. It is but a small town, but there is a particularly renowned observatory there. My parents wanted me to become an astronomer, but I chose the Earth over the sky. I was always more intrigued by life, for this reason. I must leave you. I'm happy to see you again. Can I help you? You and I, as well as many people here, have face markings, unlike your friend. You talk about the markings of Onolmenawi. That's right. Year one is not yet bonded, but it will happen soon enough. Some are born like that, but others have to be bonded to wear them. Interesting. So those born like that do not need to be bonded? If they want to become Donegada, they will have to do it anyway. They must renew the bond of their parents. That's fascinating. Thank you. What is your role here? I am still a Voglindijk. I am learning to become a healer of the world. A healer of the world? What does that involve? We help the land, rivers, and trees to heal after they have been injured. This is why our village has been famous throughout the island for generations. What is your role here? I am still a... We... This... I must go. See you later.
Ato Oi, can you come and see me? Bird tear to mud. Thank you for coming to talk to me. You are on Ol Manawi, but you also look like a Lugayad Blau. Lugayad Blau? Is that what you call the congregation? Yes. Those who have yellow eyes on their banner. They're coins. But to answer your question, yes. I'm the legate of the congregation. Is legate the Renaik say word for on Ol Manawi? No. It means that I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with the other nations. So I was right. You will be able to help us. Some of your clan are preventing us from accessing one of our sacred glades. Really? Why would they do that? Several seasons ago, some men from your clan came to ask us for wood for their houses. There were some old trees in this glade, so we let them do what they wanted. At first, everything was fine. But then they cut down too many trees. So we wanted to heal the place, plant some new trees. But they won't let us come close. Their bod irony, their warriors, are stopping us from doing so. I could investigate. Yes, please. You must tell them that they have to let us heal the glade. Desade, I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you.
some Renaixe around here. That doesn't happen often. Do you want something? You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When Oi was young, Oi got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Minundanem. Oi thought he was, but Oi was wrong. And one day, Oi met the one Oi would love for all my life. As I had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So, our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you want to know anything else? I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. Some renaik say around here. That doesn't happen often. I'll leave you alone. Kwa I'm happy to see you. Can I do anything for you? I must leave you. I'm happy to see you. I can't wait to find this famous cave of knowledge and what it contains. I could probably go alone, but just think about what you could learn and not only about yourself. Don't you want to understand where your face markings come from? You're right, Afra. I will accompany you. Thank you, Desade. Let's return to Dunkus's village. Our new friends will surely be able to tell us more about this cave.
We do not want to shed blood. We want to give life back to the earth. Do you not understand that these woods are sacred? Hello, Doctor. I am the legate of the congregation. I was told about the disputes caused by this camp, and a soldier told me that several woodcutters died recently. Yes. They got sick yesterday afternoon, and a few hours later they were dead. I couldn't do anything except watch them writhing in pain. None of my remedies worked. If seeing corpses doesn't bother you, you can come and see the bodies. They're here. I hope that whatever killed them is not contagious. Do not force us to use our weapon. What's happening here, soldier? These islanders want to enter a plot of land that belongs to the congregation. They are denying us access to the glade. We must heal it. Otherwise, this land will die. I am sorry, but we cannot let you enter this area. But we only want to plant some new trees. Bring life back. These people are fanatics, Your Excellency. Several woodcutters died last night. And I'm willing to bet that these savages had a hand in it. You are killing the Earth, so it kills you in return. All of you are cursed. Shut it, you savage! De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation on this island. I came to shed light on this affair. You said that some woodcutters died. Aye, they fell sick and died a few hours later. Well, the camp doctor will be able to tell you more about it. You'll find him in the barracks right here. Thank you, soldier. I'll go see him. Please, Your Excellency, you may come in. Do not force us to use our weapons. We do not want to shed blood. We want to give life back to the air. These poor woodcutters look like they've suffered. This one has a swollen tongue. Blood at the corner of the mouth. There are some peculiar red patches on the bodies. His eyes are bloodshot. This man choked to death. A strong smell of ammonia. The entrails must have been perforated. The appearance of these bodies and the smell emanating from their mouths leaves me in no doubt. They were poisoned. That this doctor could have believed that this was simply an illness is beyond me. I can't see anything else of interest. So, what do you think? Do you recognize their disease? They didn't die of disease. They were poisoned. There's no doubt about it. You're probably right. But I've heard these savages talking so much about curses, so I thought it must be a mysterious disease, rather than seeing what was before my eyes. But how could these three men be poisoned? I'm not sure. Do their symptoms not point to anything? No. I've never seen such a deadly poison with these symptoms. Did they drink anything in particular? They like to drink their fills in the evening. Life is dreary here. But if the poison was in the alcohol, I'd also be on the pile of corpses. What did they eat yesterday? Did they eat any mushrooms? No, no, we avoid that kind of thing. Uh, we don't know enough about the region's plant life. The congregation provides us with dry produce, otherwise we eat game. Yesterday they butchered a beast brought by the hunters. Hunters? Natives who bring us game regularly in exchange for knickknacks. But they've been restocking us for months. I struggle to believe that they're involved. Well, we'll see what they have to say. Where can I find them? They usually hunt on the edge of the wood that leads to this camp.
to my help. And death to the others. Our prey, Renaix. How can we earn our reward if you hunt our prey? We were looking for you. Us? What do you want from us? Three woodcutters were poisoned yesterday after eating what you brought them. Poison? I swear we are not responsible for this. The problem is that your prey is the only thing that could have killed them. So you must be responsible. And do you know what happens to murderers? If you think that we will let you threaten us without doing anything, Renaik say, you're wrong. Here, to my help! And death to the others! Do not kill us! We will tell you everything we know. Have mercy. We did not decide to do this. We were trading beautiful things with the camp. But the Elder said that we would be traitors to our clan if we let the woodcutters cut down all the trees. Which Elder? One of the old men from Vigigidor, our village. He is very angry because we cannot heal the glade. He gave us the meat of an Andrig killed by a venomous Dossentats. Its flesh is perfectly edible when prepared with certain berries, but without them, eating it would be lethal. And since the Renaikse invaded our forest, these berries are nowhere to be found. He wanted it to be a lesson for them, so that they may understand that their destruction brings death. I will not hold you responsible. But from now on, you will no longer bring meat to this camp. You are the instruments of a hateful old man's vengeance. And I'm under the impression that there will be even more deaths if I do not get to the root of this problem. This old man is devious. The method he used was very... original. But now people have died. The woodcutters will want vengeance and things will only get worse. This whole thing could turn into an open war. We cannot let that happen. Sir de Corsillon will be able to give some advice on how to solve this property conflict, without violence.
What brings you here on Omanawi? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa awalam seg. We are happy to see you again. You will always be welcomed as friends here. Thank you. I'm glad to see you too. But we came to ask you something. Of course. What do you want? When we participated in the Dunkus meditation, he spoke of a cave of knowledge you had to go to. And you want to see it? You still wish to learn how we become bound? It is a very sacred place. Only those who will become Donegada may enter there. That's right, year one. But they saved my life. If someone finds out that we have helped the Renaixe to enter a sacred place, they will refuse to bind me. Dunkus will never do such a thing. What needs to be done will happen, no matter what. You're probably right. Look for the entrance in the Vedhat Genadu. Entering there will not be easy, but you will have to discover the rest by yourself. Like true apprentices. Thank you, Morian. And fear not. No one will ever learn what you have entrusted us with. Watch out! Grenade! Yeah. 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 
Nick spoke the truth. We'll be rich soon. I don't like the thought of staying here too long, though. In case our corpse's cousins turn up. And we need to find a way to force this bloody root door. Hey! What are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. Except we found this place first. The treasure is ours. So I suggest you disappear. Fast. Listen, we didn't mean to bother you. We were only exploring the area. But perhaps you could tell us exactly what you're doing here. Huh. You look like nobility. And we don't want any trouble. We also are, um, explorers. We discover secret places. That type of thing. Really? And you found one near here? Yeah. We managed to convince a savage to talk to us. And he told us there's a holy cave not far from here. The kind of place where the natives hide their treasures. But be careful, eh? It's ours. And how do you plan on entering this cave? Well, with enough explosives, we'll eventually get through those routes blocking the entrance. It's only a matter of time. I see. Very subtle. And the islander didn't tell you anything about this? He didn't really have the time. And he didn't have a key on him. Just some bloody seeds. Anyway, now that you know what we're doing here, you'd better leave. Sorry, but we're not going anywhere. Too much! And death to the others! Watch out! Grenade! <laughs> 